In this video, we will review SiriusXM's fish mapping plankton information using a SIMRAD display. Let's start by clicking on the chart icon on the home screen. Select menu in the upper right hand corner of the screen or from the hard keys. From the menu, select overlay from the choices shown. On the next list, select fish mapping. Then select fish mapping options from the main menu. At this point, we suggest turning the legend on as you will find it useful while viewing the fish mapping layers. Next, select view to display the primary fish mapping layers. First, we'll select plankton contours. Plankton information is updated every 24 hours. Press menu to view plankton concentration contours on the full screen. Plankton is the primary food source for most bait fish, which attract hungry game fish. Anglers often use the term chlorophyll. While chlorophyll is a good indicator of where plankton can be found, fish mapping provides actual plankton concentration levels. Plankton concentrations show contour lines with the amount of plankton in a given area measured in milligrams per cubic meter. If you look at the legend, you will also notice that the areas with less amounts of plankton are shaded in light green, and the areas with greater amounts of plankton are shaded in darker green. You can also place the cursor on a plankton line, and details will appear in the information box on the lower left-hand side of the screen. Now let's review plankton front strengths. From your chart screens, select Menu to return to the fish mapping menu, and then select Plankton Front. Press Menu to view plankton fronts on the full screen. With this feature, you can locate where there are areas of greatest plankton concentrations adjacent to areas where there is relatively little or no plankton. Strong plankton fronts indicate areas for game fish feeding activity. Like sea surface temperature fronts, plankton fronts are based on a scale from one to four. One being a weak front, two being moderate, three being strong, and four being a very strong front. Ideally, you're looking for strong or very strong fronts, as these are typically the most productive areas. If you look at the legend, you will also notice that the areas with the weakest fronts are shaded in light green, and the areas with the strongest fronts are shaded in darker green. A good tip to remember is that the likelihood of locating game fish will ultimately increase by using several fish mapping features in combination. For additional information and specific fish mapping feature videos, please visit our fish mapping website at SiriusXM.com forward slash fish mapping. For videos specific to your brand of display, visit our marine video library at SiriusXM.com forward slash marine library. And for even more about using SiriusXM Marine, visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash SXM Marine. In addition, please follow us on our social media sites. If you have any questions, feedback, or would like to share a story, please email us at marine.support at SiriusXM.com. If you have specific questions about your Simrad hardware, please visit www.simrad-yachting.com forward slash help dash dash support. Thank you for joining us.